butternut squashes. Today I have a really big haul for you. This is going to be what I got at Disneyland and I was in LA really recently for some work stuff, had a whole lot of fun. I dragged my best friend Sean with me out to LA and he kind of acts as my assistant a lot of the times when I need him to and so I felt so bad he was going to meeting after meeting and all of this boring like YouTube behind the scenes stuff and I was like let's do something fun. He was like you want to go to Taco Bell and I was like no bitch I want to go to Disney. We both got to go to Disneyland for the very first time I've been to Disney World and I'm also going to Disneyland Paris this year but I've never been to the OG Disneyland um, and just to kind of recreate the vibes this is one of the outfits I wore there I will also have a Disneyland like mini outfits of the day video coming up really soon with a few different looks that I shot while we were there so that's really cool but I just thought I would show you what I got in Disney and while I definitely got my shop on I wasn't sure how long this video was gonna be so I'm also just gonna show you what I bought while I was in LA the very first thing the very first stop that we made right when we got into the park was to get my official ears. Now, a lot of people on Instagram were asking where I got the ears and I was just like, why would you even ask that? Like, obviously Disney World. And then I met a few subscribers while I was in the park. And one of the girls I was like taking a picture with like had her ears just like covered in flowers. And I was like, how did you do that? And she said that she had made them herself. And that she like sold them on Etsy and stuff. And then I met another girl who had like bedazzled hers for her friend's birthday and they looked so freaking cool. So I didn't know that people like made ears like this, but I just got mine from the park. They were like $20, super expensive, but I liked how like bejeweled and super fancy that they were. So I had to have them. The next stop that I made was actually to get my very first Duffy bear. And I have so many stuffed animals so many stuffed animals that I thought I would do something a little bit different and my Duffy is actually a backpack as well and the reason I love it so much is the zipper is not on the outside. That is something with a backpack that gives me major anxiety because when the zipper is here it's like anyone can get into your backpack but Duffy's is like facing my body so it's a lot more secure and then the pocket goes pretty deep inside of him so you can just like, I feel like he's like staring at me, that's the only thing, it's like he's like staring at me while I'm reaching inside of his stomach. But like I shoved my vlog camera in here at one point and it's actually big enough for that but like I could obviously like I'll grab I have my old cell phone here I could put like my phone probably not much else like a credit card maybe a really really slender little wallet but I just thought this was so useful and super freaking cute that's the way that his head is it like lays against your back and it's literally like you're giving him a piggyback and it's the cutest thing I've ever seen in my entire life so Duffy was a little bit on the expensive side, not gonna lie, but I think that he will certainly come with me on my next Disney adventure. For my little brother, and he will have this by the time that I show this haul, I got him this really cute little sweatshirt, and I feel really bad because every time I go anywhere, I always forget to get him something. It's always like, I never know what he wants. I thought this time I would actually grab him a sweatshirt. He was the only person I bought a souvenir for on this trip around. I also like to take turns between people, so when I was in Cabo, Tyler got the souvenir. Now Christian is, my brother, is going to get this one, and the next time I'm in LA, which is actually like right when you're watching this I'm going to get my dad something and then like so on and so forth through my family and friends that way my suitcase doesn't get weighed down and it's also really fun because I do travel so much to be able to shop for people like all the time without worrying about how I'm gonna get everything home you know so I got him this and just this 2016 Disneyland and all these music notes he's a music major so I just thought he would appreciate it and technically the last thing I got from Disney and I mean I bought like food I bought myself some candy it is all gone now I brought Tyler home like some candy and stuff this was a big splurge item I got some crazy news the day that we went to Disney and I was just beside myself so I wound up grabbing this bad boy and it is this really beautiful I think uh how how do you say that word? Swar Swarovski? Swarovski? I feel like you don't pronounce the um, R, but Trisha probably knows how to say it because like she always like gets things like this. But I just thought it was so freaking pretty. It's like Mickey's head and then it has a little keyhole as well as the little key charm. And I got this in a Disney like jewelry store on Main Street. I just thought it was so beautiful and it's like platinum and sterling silver. So it was definitely a little bit more expensive, but I really, really wanted it. And of course, you know, like in Disney, they mark up things a little bit, but I I, I don't know it was just like it was a way to commemorate this really cool thing that happened that you guys will know about like next week it's gonna be so fun speaking of things that are overpriced I got this Santa Monica hoodie and I wasn't expecting to get anything in Santa Monica and I just fell in love with like the colors on here white hoodies are honestly never a good idea especially when you wear makeup you fake tan you are a klutz 
I am all three of those things, so I've God only knows how long it will last, but it's actually a really long hoodie. It's really wrinkled, so I'll have to like dry it, but it's really long. Like it came down to mid thigh on me. So I'm really, really excited about this. Um, and I don't, I can't tell you the store that I got it in. It was one of the first stores, the first little shops off to the left when you entered the pier. So I don't know if that helps you at all, but I really, really liked it. To kind of polish off this haul, I have some things from Forever 21 that I just bought on the go. Side note, I tried to place an order from Forever 21 because I liked a lot of the stuff that I saw in store, but Forever 21 really stresses me out. There's so much going on that I'm always like, I can't shop. So I was going online and I placed an order of like, so, so much stuff. And there was this whole weird thing where they like swapped my billing address with my shipping address, tried to email them, and they had like canceled my whole order. So I tried to place it again today with a different like method of payment and they canceled it again. So I don't know what is going on with Forever 21. I had this happen last month with them too, so. Keep an eye on your order if you purchase any of this stuff online because I don't know why they're canceling orders. But the first thing that I got is this little sweater crop top. I will quickly say as well, everything aside from the next top I'm going to show you is all from the straight size section. But this is actually a really nice and stretchy sweater crop top and it's a really soft pastel-y peach shade. I really liked how it's a v-neck. My only issue is that it is a material that really shows your bra through which like I guess I'm just going to have to layer it with a cute bralette because I tried like taking off my bra because I have pretty small boobs anyways. It's like nipply city, like there's no way of getting around this. So I don't know why, because it's a pretty thick knit, but it just showed my strapless bra like right through, whatever. I think it's really, really cute. The next top is from the plus size section. And this one is like a knotted in front top. And if you're a straight size person and you really like this, they also do have it in straight size. I just liked it a little bit baggier on me. I tried it in both the straight and the plus size. And honestly, like that last crop top was really fitted. I just wanted something looser and a bit more cash so it ties there and I just think it's really really cute I also found this kimono top and this is like so up my alley honestly it is so pretty it's a little bit of a longer kimono too I just think it's super duper cute and honestly just gonna be a great layer for you know when I need to do the layering thing in the spring and summer but don't want to die the heat stroke can we make that the official motto of kimonos perhaps they're for you when you want to be trendy prevents you from having a heart attack this is what I wore to my meetup and almost everyone who like met me asked about this dress. This is from the Forever 21 Contemporary line, which runs like a half size larger. And there's no stretch with this. Like you're not going to get any stretch. It's just a soft chiffon material, but it was large enough to fit my bust. And that's the only place where it's fitted. It's just a really long tiered maxi dress all the way down. Super freaking cute, man. Like it is a high neck dress and I wound up wearing it without a cardigan or anything the last day of Gen Beauty. And that wound up being a really bad mistake on my part because then we like, hung out afterwards like me and some people and I did not bring a sweater or a cardigan. I wound up just not being good because I was freezing, but it's gonna be really cute in the spring. So it was a little bit more expensive too, especially from Forever 21, but it feels so, so well made and I definitely think it's worth it. The last couple of things that I have are accessories. These earrings really, really caught my eye. I like the feather earrings like this, but I don't like them to just be feathers. Like I think that was cool back in like what, 2008? But now I just, I mean, it's not for me. I think that some people could probably rock it and look gorgeous, but I like this little detail right here. It's like all bejeweled and super glam. And then the feathers are just a soft pastel. And I think it's so, pretty and slightly boho and then the next ones are um this really cool style i really like this because it looks a lot more intricate than it is they're double earrings so in front you're gonna see this like pearl um bejeweled one and then the bottom part just like comes down like so so that is my little LA slash Disneyland haul and I hope you guys enjoyed. I have some pretty big clothing hauls coming up for the spring that I cannot wait to share with you guys and I have some makeup hauls and stuff too. So if you are excited for that, please give me a thumbs up so that I know. Subscribe to my channel if you have not already and I will see you very soon in my next video. Bye. And now we're hanging out with our friend, um, the bougiest of whales. We're just gonna name him Bouge. This is Morlo. <laughs> Morlo? Is that his name really? <laughs>